Okay, so we have this uh, this model, right? And we want to 3D print it. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the the uh, the procedure to 3D print. So most 3D prints, uh, um, most 3D print um, applications take the same file types. So Inventor, a part is an IPT, okay, or an IAM, which would be an assembly. Either one of those we can we can uh, print out as we can basically save it as the part file that will be ingested by the uh, 3D print application. Okay, so all we need to do is go to File, uh, Export, CAD Format. We're going to choose STL here. Okay, you can go into Options and you can change the units to something other than centimeter. The default for the the um, the program we're going to use is millimeter. Okay, so we can go ahead and change that to millimeter if we want. We can keep it centimeter if we want. Uh, but either way, we have, to, we have to know what it is and then click OK, all right? Okay, so in this place, we're gonna call this, um, uh, we're gonna make a descriptive name. So in this case, we're gonna go P1, my name, and we're calling it turbine. Okay, we wanna make a unique uh, name, okay? Because in some cases, we're gonna be sharing the uh, print um, 3D printer with lots of other people. Okay, in general, you know, unique naming is good. We're gonna go ahead and click Save. Okay, and that's gonna give us our STL. Uh, the other, the other thing that we can save it as, we could do an an OBJ file as well. Um, uh, however, um, for our purposes, I think that um, for our purposes, I think that a um, I think that an STL works better. Okay, so we're gonna save that STL. I'm gonna save it to my desktop there. All right, so that's it in Inventor. Inventor also has, um, has some other things here. Um, so it has under environments, it has this 3D print button. That also works, okay? Um, so that also works. So we basically can save, uh, save our IPT and it will kind of walk us through but essentially what, what this is, so, so for example, you know, we, uh, we change this to, notice how they have a lot of different options here. Okay, so uh, I don't know how much this helps though, to be honest with you, okay? We could print directly out of this inventor if we really wanted to, but I think that um, we can basically just do this ourselves better, just transferring the file over to the MakerBot software. Okay, so in our case, as I just said, we're gonna be using MakerBot, um, the MakerBot software. Um, Okay, so we have our STL file, and that is gonna be it in Inventor. So let's go over to MakerBot. Okay, so this is MakerBot print. So as of, you know, 2017, 18, um, uh, this is the new software that they're using. So let's go through kind of how to use it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drag on my STL. Okay, so I have this STL file. I'm gonna drag it onto the build plate. All right, and this can get done, I can do this as many times as I want, okay? So if there are 30, you know, items that I wanna build, I can drag on 30 STL files, all right? Uh, a lot of times, you know, there's a limited number of 3D printers. What we wanna do is get a print ready where we can print multiple items at one time because it takes a while for them to print. All right, um, so there's a couple different things that we gotta look at here. Okay, one thing is, you know, obviously the orientation. This is not working right, right? So it's sticking way out of the, the build area. It's not gonna work. So, uh, so the first thing we're gonna do here is that we're going to, um, to, get the, uh, to get the units correct, all right? So in this case, we chose millimeters. Okay, if we chose centimeters, it gets giant, right? Inches gets even more giant. In our case, it's millimeters. Okay, I can kind of zoom out here to show you. So essentially, um, and that's wheeling out with a wheel mouse. So let's go ahead and we're going to orient this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place face on build plate. So, so we can, you know, plus and minus this, you know, we can use this X to like X and Y and Z axis to plus and minus it. But putting the face on the build plate really works quite well. So we're gonna click put face on build plate. We're gonna kind of zoom in. We want it to stand up so that we can fit a lot of these on at one time. So we're gonna click on that side there that we want on the build plate, right? Okay, and then we're gonna click bottom. And notice that's gonna stand it up pretty nicely. All right, and then we're gonna click done. Um, so now we're gonna drag this back a bit 
and we're gonna go ahead and scale it. So in our case, you know, it'd be great if, um, if we didn't have to scale it. Uh, in our case, we have to. Now, if, this if we were just building a model in this case, so it's not gonna actually function in what we want it to do. Um, if, you know, if, you're, if the thing you're trying to print is gonna go outside the build area of your printer, obviously that's not gonna work. So, so we'd have to like split it into multiple pieces, then put them together somehow. Um, or something like that. But in our case, we're just gonna scale it. So, so we want uniform scaling, and let's say that we wanna go to 75%. Okay, and we can kind of see how that's working there. Uh, it's not quite there yet. And let's go to 50%. Okay, there we have it. So that's gonna fit nicely onto the, onto the build plate. Okay, and notice this, uh, you know, it's not red anymore, obviously. So, okay, so that's it. And so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead, in this case, we, are, we aren't gonna select a printer, but essentially we'd select a printer in here. Um, we'd select and then we would click print. And that's really all there is to it, uh, to start your 3D print.